our frying the fish preparatory for the iskabitsi. Uh, in a little while, I'll start cooking the iskabitsi uh, with, uh, which I'm gonna add the different ingredients shortly. Now, after frying the fish, we can saute the vegetables, the ingredients. First, you need about five cloves of garlic crushed. You have some onions, about two to three medium-sized onions chopped. Then we also need one medium-sized carrot cut into uh, thin strips. Likewise, with some ginger, about 100 grams of ginger being cut also into thin strips. And this is the this version is the the easiest form of uh, or the easiest version on how to cook the iskabitsi because there are different versions of iskabitsi, but this one is the simplest version. Then, uh, as you can see, I'm adding already the red bell pepper being uh, cut into very thin strips. And we mix properly or mix thoroughly the sauteed ingredients. Then, uh, at this point, uh, we can even add a little seasoning and some salt to taste para absorb din ng ano ng mga ingredients natin. Then, uh, yung fish kanina na na-fry ko na earlier, I'm gonna add it already. I-add na natin dyan sa ano, uh, katatapos na sauteed na mga ingredients natin. Then, afterwards, pwede natin uh, lagyan na yan ng tomato sauce. Uh, konti lang lang na pouch yung, yung tomato sauce na 125 grams lang 125 grams lang kunti lang naman ang kailangan natin na sauce dito para lang magkal, magkaroon ng kulay siya uh, so in a little while add ko na yung tomato sauce and after adding tomato sauce we can add some vinegar Kasi kailangan, ang concept kasi ng, ano, ng iskabitsi is parang ano yan eh. Uh, it's the easier version ng sweet and sour. Easier version ng sweet and sour fish. Ito yung pinakasimple na, na version ng sweet and sour. Kaya ito tinatawag na iskabitsi. So, as you can see, I already added about half glass of water para ma ano ma mix yung flavor niya ng fried fish sa yung nasute ko na this one ito yung cornstarch cornstarch I mix the cornstarch with the vinegar hindi kailangan kasi yung, yung uh, kunti lang yung tubig at saka yung vinegar ang importante dito kasi para maging ano siya a little bit sour then as you can now see I'm already adding the 125 uh, grams of tomato sauce after that mix ko yan mix ko thoroughly para evenly distributed yung, yung flavor niya so yung ano naman yung starch magano na din yun. then I'm adding a little water kasi I need 
to other the brown sugar. So, kailangan add ka ng brown sugar kasi I already added the salt to taste sa kayo yung seasoning earlier. So, ibig sabihin, eh, tama na ang timpla niya. Kulang na lang yung brown sugar. Yeah, eh, may halo na yan doon sa buong dish. At 